How big is this deal that BlackBerry just made with the Canadian government? Well, let's dive in. What's up guys, welcome to Bullish Bets. On this channel, we cover all things related to stocks and investing. It was announced today, April 12th, 2021, that the government of Canada has selected BlackBerry for their secure productivity and secure communication needs. So the government agency Shared Services Canada signed a multi-year agreement giving public servants across the government of Canada access to BlackBerry Spark, Unified Endpoint Management, and BlackBerry SecuSuite. So Shared Services Canada delivers digital services to the government of Canada organizations. You know, they stated, we're delighted to expand our contribution to the government of Canada's agenda and deliver digital services that better serve Canadians. So that's all the press release says. It doesn't give much more information. It doesn't talk about the size of the deal and what it involves. So I thought I'd dig a little deeper. And the best way I thought to go about this is to look at what the Shared Service Canada was and what their budget was. So I looked at their departmental plan and you know, let's take a look at the budget each year for SSC in regards to cyber and IT security and customer relationships and service management. So cyber and IT security has a budget of 138 million and customer relations and service management has a budget of 198 million a year in 2021 to 2022. You know, the reason I use the budget for cyber and IT security is obvious because unified endpoint security but I included the customer relationships and service department because BlackBerry Spark offers a unified endpoint management. And if you dig a little deeper in terms of this department, they're focused on investing in new enterprise monitoring solutions, uh, which will allow events to be managed from a single council and enable broader connectivity with service line tools. So that's essentially what unified uh, endpoint management does. And it seems like it fits under this department. Uh, if we look at the average salary of SSC workers, it's a total of $64,000. And you're probably wondering why I'm looking at the salary. So I want to ensure that, you know, some of the money does come from the budget, but they have employees. They have a predicted 760 employees for cyber and IT security and 1,244 for uh, customer relationships and service management. So if you do the multiplications and do the math, you know, that, that would add up to around 45 million and 86 million a year, respectively, for you know, both departments. You know, that's you know, around 120 million in terms of a total budget for BlackBerry. Since you know, th there's a lot more room in terms of budget, in terms of employees, I would argue that you know, it's reasonable to assume that BlackBerry gets at least 10% of the department budget. Uh, this would mean that they would get a, a 13 million and 19 million respectively because cybersecurity and IT has a de department budget in 2021 to 2022 around 138 million and 198 million for customer relations. So this would add up to around uh, 32 million dollars a year in terms of you know, potential revenue that BlackBerry can have. Now that being said, this is not the end all be all way to you know, predict the size of the deal but i'm dealing with what we have so i used another method also you know to determine the size of the deal since it was said it will give access to public servants of canada access to spark suite you know i looked up the total number of public servants of canada and what came out of it was 300,000 public servants in 2020 and what this means is that there's potentially 300,000 users that are going to be using blackberry spark suite so I searched up the average cost per user for you know, BlackBerry Spark Suite. Uh, it mentioned that right here in this article that it's around $195 per user per year. You now, since this is a bigger deal, but let's assume that the government got a discount. Let's say each user is between $100 to $150 instead of $195. You know, with 300,000 public servants, that would equal to a revenue around 30 million to 45 million each year. You know, based off these assumptions, it seems like BlackBerry made a multi-year deal with the Canadian government that equals to around you know, 35 to $40 million each year to, to make a closer estimate. You know, if we look at the annual revenue in terms of software and service business for BlackBerry, uh, equal to around uh, $621 million in the year fiscal year 2021. So if we add 30 to $5 to $40 million in growth with this deal, this puts them at around 5.6% uh, growth under software and services. 
This is not including the deal that they've made with Volvo, Scania, and a whole bunch of other Q&X deals that they made in the beginning of the year. And based off just this deal alone, you know, this 5.6% growth is, is a good sign. You know, the future seems bright. What do you guys think? Do you like this deal that BlackBerry made? You know, how do you think it's going to affect the stock price? You know, obviously right now, the stock price, you know, took a little dip, but in the long term, it's a good sign. So that's it for this video. If you liked our content, give us a thumbs up. You know, we use this as feedback as to whether we're making content worth watching. You know, thank you again very much for watching. Uh, we also made a series of other videos on BlackBerry where we do a deeper dive into the company. You know, make sure to check those out.